that students learn by doing. This trip in particular is a great example of the value of experiential learning and cross-curricular learning. The trip combines English, history, science, and sports all in one. We know how important experiential learning is for students, so as a faculty, we have tried to find creative ways to keep as many of these extracurricular activities on the schedule. Our annual survival trip is a perfect example. The outdoor survival activities parallel the fiction adventure Hatchet, the first unit of study in sixth grade English. It's a terrific cross-curricular field trip and a highlight of the upper school. We felt because it takes place outside in nature that we had a good chance of moving forward with it. With COVID in mind, we decided to pivot and split the trip into two separate days. This year, we spent a full day on the river. We covered about 11 miles on the river, and that allows it, allowed us to work on water safety and talk about some of the foods along the river, and the kids had a great time. The river was up, but we were still able to safely use our canoes and kayaks and cover a great deal of material and river. This year, because of COVID, we weren't able to use small tents along the river. We were afraid that crowding kids into these small tents, especially closed small tents, was just not wise. And so instead, we came back to our beautiful campus and used our beautiful courtyard, including two large tents, and we had a great night. Most of us slept out in the open and got to look up at the stars and the beautiful moon, and a few chose to sleep under our big white tents. Then in the morning, we were able to get up, pack up some things, and have, head over to our Crocker property for a beautiful campfire breakfast. And the kids had a great breakfast, and then we were able to learn from our survival skills expert, Michael Sotosanti, and complete the survival skills training portion on the Crocker Conservancy. It end up, ended up being the perfect location for the activity. We used the pavilion as a home base. Mrs. Jaffe came out and taught a lesson about hatchet with the group, which is something that is normally done inside. And then we were able to divide up the class into smaller groups to help with social distancing the activities. Students learned how food is obtained in the wild, how to build friction fires, make tools, create string from plant material. They learned how to make a bow and practice archery. They learned how to trap animals in the wild. We would have preferred to be off campus, but I'm so glad we were able to use the natural resources on our campus and nearby all had a good time. The students spent quality time in the out of doors and learned self-sufficiency needed to be in the out of doors either by choice or by need. The program reinforces and expands on the classroom curriculum of the survival literature unit and the life science unit by offering insight into the history of the residents of the area and by demonstrating actual examples of the technology and culture of early local Native Americans. We've been through the line a lot too.